You're watching the CFE News Weekly video brought to you by Ernerberry's Comtel. Ernerberry recently launched a brand new quotation series on Peruvian scallops that can be assessed through Comtel. The addition of this quotation series further expands Ernerberry's scallop coverage as market reporters currently quote domestic, Canadian, Chinese, and Japanese products. The new section features quotations on dry IQF Peruvian scallops sizes 10 to 20 count through 80 to 120 count. And of course, the new price series will be accompanied by Ernerberry's renowned market commentary and analysis. Bye, moi. <laughs> to view the new quotations and all of Ernerberry's global seafood market coverage, visit www.comtel.com. I'm Seafood News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. In our top story, USDA purchase awards were announced for Alaska Pollock and Canned Pink Salmon products with a few well-known firms netting contracts. The USDA purchased over 88,000 cases of canned pink salmon products for $5.87 million. Much of the purchase was awarded to OBI Seafoods, with the firm landing a $4.95 million contract. The rest was netted by Trident Seafoods with roughly $925,000. A total of $3.9 million in Alaska Pollock was purchased by the USDA. In all, over 1.6 million pounds of product was bought. The largest contract was given to Trident Seafoods, which will sell nearly 986,000 pounds of frozen Alaska Pollock sticks for $2.19 million. Highliner Foods will provide 608,000 pounds for $1.6 million. And lastly, Channel Fish Processing was awarded a piece of the pie, with the USDA buying 38,000 pounds of Pollock products for $121,000. Great news for those companies. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Disney announced that they are donating $50,000 to help launch a program focused on the conservation of Caribbean spiny lobsters. The program will be based in the Bahamas, where spiny lobster is a key fishery, accounting for $90 million each year and employing about 9,000 fishers. The key donation to start the program at the University of Exeter hails from the Disney Conservation Fund. The program aims to develop and implement population management and stock enhancement strategies that will ensure the long-term protection of the species while at the same time identifying commercial activities and infrastructure which can support sustainable harvest and create economic resilience. The project is supported via Disney's Inspiring Action Conservation Grants Program. Since the fund's creation in 1995, Disney has directed more than $120 million total in grants to diverse communities around the world to protect the magic of nature together by saving wildlife, inspiring action, and protecting the planet. And in other news, the National Fisheries Institute has released a video that explains the supply chain challenges facing the seafood industry. NFI criticized current moves being made that aim to solve the global uh, supply chain crisis, including the shift to 24-hour port operations on the West Coast. NFI shared that currently, transporting fish costs nine times what it did a year ago, leading to higher prices for the end consumer. Conversations around logistics and supply chain issues have dominated the seafood community since the pandemic began, and that trend will continue ahead of a busy holiday season. You can find the video on NFI's YouTube channel or by visiting aboutseafood.com. And finally, Gorton Seafood is trying to make life a little easier for seafood lovers who shop at Kroger's. The company announced this week that they will now be offering their value-sized butterfly shrimp product at the grocery retailer for a limited time. According to the company, the introduction of the limited time offer comes at a time when consumers are looking for minimal prep freezer staples during the busy holiday season. Gorton's boasts that their value pack will allow consumers to get more shrimp that will last even longer than a regular package, which means less holiday crowds to deal with at the store. I think we can all get on board with that. Oh, yeah. The value pack provides two pounds or 32 ounces of breaded butterfly shrimp and will retail for $9.99. The club size product will be available at over 1,200 Kroger locations around the country until January 29, 2022. Subscribe to our channel below and be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes every week. Thanks for watching and you be well, 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 well. well.